Welcome to Excel 2013 Pivot Tables Fast. I'm Trader Lori. How can we make pivot tables fast? We're going to show you three ways using recommended pivot tables, insert pivot table, and the pivot table template. First we're going to look at recommended pivot tables. This is a new feature in 2013. It's a lot like having an easy button. All you have to do is select any cell within the database. Then click the Recommended Pivot Tables command. Excel displays a dialog box that contains a list box on the left side that shows samples of all the suggested pivot tables that Excel 2013 can create from the data in your list. Even though it was made really fast, you can still customize it any way you like. And you have the option to go back to that easy button even if you've already created a pivot table a different way. This is the classic way of creating a pivot table. Make sure you've clicked in your database first and then go to Insert Pivot Table. The Create Pivot Table dialog box opens and the database we already selected is listed. There's also a Collapse button if you've forgotten to select the data first. Then select to put the pivot table report in a new worksheet. Then click OK. It's just that easy. Now we have the pivot table template. If you don't know what to do, simply click a field and by default it will put that information in the rows section. Or you can click and drag. For example, if you decide you want something to go into a column, put it in there. Simply click and drag it into that area that you want it to go into. We want to take the total fare and put it down in value, so we click and drag. And when we do that, it automatically shows up in the pivot table. Only one field, and we have the sum of the total fare automatically there. Remember, sum the blank. That was what we started with. Our, our syntax starts with that. If we right click on the total, then we get more options as well. Copy, format cells, use number formats, etc. The second one we look at is organized by blank. This is the second part of our syntax. So we want to take the passenger name and organize it by rows. And when we do that, it puts all of the passengers individually, alphabetical order, in row labels. And third, we want to use column labels and by blank. And we want type to show up as a column label. So we click and drag it down into columns and it shows up at the top. Let's see what it looks like when we use all three fields. See, we've got one down in the column area, one in the rows, and one in the values area. And that's what it would look like, that beautiful pivot table. Whenever you're building a pivot table, fill in the blanks. In this case, we want to sum the annual salary by position and by performance rating. So you can see it starts in the values and works its way in a backward Z. And that's what the pivot table would look like. Sum the annual salary by position and performance rating. But remember we have that fourth option and occasionally by blank. So if we wanted to add that, that would go under filters. And when we put something in filters, then it's going to show up in the top and it will be a drop down and we only look at it when we want to so that's occasionally that's all the time we have this time i hope you enjoyed it if you like it please subscribe to the trainer lori channel